blood sugar. The blood sugar's fine, it's high at the so moment. So you really got the shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> the problem I've got is that the mentality is fear. Once the coppers are working their way through with fear, people go back into the middle of the flock. And from the back they start, bah, bah. oh it's bad, the wolves are round, let's scatter. And the first thing that wolves do is go round and round and round and pick off people. And then they scatter, the, all the sheep and the herd scatter. So once they scatter, they're vulnerable. If you all stick together and you all stay together, you're not vulnerable. And if you all keep going in the same direction, not as sheep, but as wolves. I am not a sheep, I am a wolf. As I often say in the, in the past, are we men or are we sheep? No, we are wolves. <laughs> and you must stand up for yourself and you must stand up for your rights. You have to go and write letters off to politicians. You have to go and send emails off to the press. And keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. Send it off to your friends and tell them to do it. And then you keep on doing it and doing it and doing it. And if that doesn't work, you then go and stand out the front of the politician's office holding up a banner saying, they don't believe in human rights and they won't protect me. You know, this, this cape of the bullshit the coppers have been doing is crap. You being held for 11 hours without charge. Totally illegal. Out there though. And who stood up for you? There are no politicians. No one's come out of the woodwork. The press is silent. I'm fed up with it. That's why, you know, I'm half a mind to stand here tomorrow when Koshy's coming across the bloody cross and grabbing by his shirt front and say, Oi, you, are you a fascist or are you believe in democracy? You know. The guy on the morning show who wears a shitload of foundation and tries to sell shit in the infomercial bits. Who? Yeah. He came while the cops were raiding today. He came, picked the youngest, most vulnerable looking member of Occupy and went and picked on her. Say? So? Turn around and say, fuck her off, son. Oh, that's, I, that's what I fucking did, but it was... Who are you? It's just... Bloody mercenary for the capitalists, are you? I, I just, I, I hope there's some footage of it so that we can show him being a bully and not being an objective part of the media and all of that sort of shit, because... No, they've been told that's... by the powers to be that we're to be de delegated. We're not to have any to do with worldwide. Yeah. You haven't heard the 2,400 people well, cities were occupied. And it goes for anything from a crowd as small as us up to 20, 30,000. They arrested the, you never heard anything about Oakland when they arrested 20,000 people were there and they arrested, so it wasn't 20,000 they arrested. They arrested They arrested 300. They found 100 of them in tiger cages, out in paddocks, yeah, FEMA were. paddocks. But you know, Amongst us as a group. In, in Oakland, um, people were tortured, tear gas was put in their cells, they were forced to defecate and urinate and vomit on themselves, they were denied medication. They, this, is, this is a bunch of protesters from Oakland. They were just chucked in jail and fucking tortured. This is, yeah. this is the world we live in now. Huh? They've been denied their human rights. And one thing I will not tolerate, and that's my human rights being crushed. I'll use every avenue possible. Under the UN Charter, I have the right to rebel at the end of it. But until such point, I can demonstrate. But if they don't want me to demonstrate and they keep on suppressing me, then I can rebel. And I don't want to do that, because I'm peaceful. I've had a gutful. And I just wish the bloody people online would start using the tool that's in front of them. I Send wish, out emails. I wish they would get off their bloody computer and come down here. I don't have to get off the computer. We can do that. We can stay here. We, the people who have got the balls to do it can do it. But the people, the, the, the problem with the people who are typing on their computers is that they don't actually understand what's going on down here. They, they're not taking that's part in the conversation. Yeah, yeah, but they're, what, they're, not, they're not taking part in the conversation. So they're going, oh, all you're doing is getting arrested. That's boring. Blah, blah, blah. You know, just stop, stop.
stop occupying and we'll, we'll oh, do yeah. stuff away we'll, from we'll occupying. Off one by one. They'll come around and visit us and then they'll go and hack into our computers and they'll find everything about us. And then you'll get denied employment and then you'll have all the other things that happen on the side because you're not part of a movement, you're just an individual who are easy to be picked off. That's what ends up happening. Yeah. And if you go that round, and it's called, it's called slack division. That's what it's really called. Sign online petitions. Uh, when you do an online petition, yeah, okay, you're doing something. Oh, well, I signed a petition online. You do a bugger all. What you should be doing is sending out the message, sending it out worldwide, sending it across borders. Same as the, same as the Egyptians did. I, I went and worked the day shift, basically. When America went to bed, I got up and I was online. When I went to bed, England got up, Germany got up, all these other countries around the world, one by one, we shifted around, and their message was going 24-7, all the time. The same with Libya, except Libya got perverted because the Americans' dark, bloody, bastard, friggin' spooks got involved, and they buggered it up. It, it, was, it was great because all these things were happening around the world, that people were sharing and caring, you know? We got, we got bloody medicine in the Miserata, we got ammunition in Dill. You know, uh, what, are you, what are you doing, Glenn? You're online all the time, you're doing nothing, really. Well, now I'm shifting the message and putting it to people who should be caring, people who should be doing things. The UN, all those people. You go and write to them, you email them, you bombard them. You get onto places like uh, Asvark, who is an online petition. But at least they've got one million members. And when they get a petition with a million bloody things on it, they take notice. Get up. That's just a bloody slacko mob as far as I'm concerned. Well, I, I think online activism is great. As long, and I think online involvement in Occupy and everything is great. As long as, as long as people who don't actually come down here don't make up what's happening down here, you know? Well, at the end of the day, like, a lot of people don't know how to interact with the public. That's why they're online. They're in their own little core group. They don't know how to interact with the public. They don't know how, the, they haven't got a right idea about their message. You know, and there's other people who work and they're busy. But what they can do is send out emails. They can write letters. They can get onto the press. They can make phone calls. We got a bloke out of jail of Hellboy Hammer. You ever heard of um, Gaza Youth? Their motto is Fuck Hamas, Fuck Fatter, Fuck Israel. We want a live in peace. We want life. Hamas stops them playing rock and roll music. Fatter goes and bashes up their people because they happen to live in the wrong place. The Israelis kick the shit out of them just for being Palestinians. They just want to go out there and be, enjoy themselves. They can't even have a bloody beer without the door being kicked in and, and them getting a hard time. They went and put on a concert, you know, in a cafe. So they all got arrested and carted off and beaten up by Hamas. And it's like, nah. So we, they sent a message out. We made phone calls. Apparently they crashed the computers. They crashed the bloody uh, fax machine. They ran out of paper on the fax machine. They sent out a message saying, please don't send any more faxes. They ran out of bloody phone capacity. The phone lines crashed. Not because of the Israelis, but because worldwide people just phoned them up and said, get them out of there. What the hell do you think you're doing with those boys? They've done nothing wrong. They're just trying to be youth and trying to enjoy themselves. Now, back off. And the masses change their policy. They decide they better let them have a bit of fun. They arrest the people sitting down next to a girl in a cafe. Scares me what? What, he can't talk to a girl? What's wrong with that? You know, as bad as the Israelis. Same with Fata. Fata is going around bloody sticking people for money all the time. Taxing them. They have to pay three lots of taxes to three different lots of people. Bugger them. I'll support them. I'll help them. You know, you, you can spend 20 bucks on a phone call. I'm a pensioner for fuck's sake. You know, and there you got these people sitting there in front of their computers doing fuck all. 
Oh, it's too hard. Oh, let's go away. You know, you know they can come down here for a night. They don't have to stay here all the time. I sat up there for three months in the bloody rain while they all slept in the railway. What was the point of that? Why did you come here if you're just going to go to sleep in a railway? You know, that was fine. I didn't mind sitting up there. I'm, I'm holding the fort. The coppers come around. I tell them to bugger off. You know, but this this point now, the coppers are at us all the time, every time. Fine. Roll up the banner. Walk off down the bloody road. Roll it out down the road. You know. Go down to Pitt Street Mall where there's lots of cameras where everyone can record and see what they're really doing to us. And then demand that the bloody press do something about it. Demand that the bloody politicians do something about it. Don't, don't just set the status quo. Because if you set the status quo, it just continues to slide and slide until, oh well I suppose we better go and get our tattoo. Uh, they've told us we have to get a barcode on our forehead so we better. I don't really want to, but you know, I'm told I won't get a job unless I do. You know, give me a break. No, I won't have my human rights crush, Phil. I won't. And I refuse to. And I hope you're going to sue the socks off the bastards. You know, we've got all these bloody barristers that keep on coming up to us and saying, oh, it's terrible, you know, we'll to give you some legal advice. We've got to start saying, well, that's fine giving us legal advice, but we really need you to come and stand up in court and help us because we can't do it because we haven't got the resources. You know, that's bullshit. And just to say, oh, well, it's too hard. We'll, well, you know, we'll just fold up the tent and go home because the nasty man came around and told us to fuck off. We've had it before. We've had it before. You go, you get fucked, you piss off. Oh, well, you know. You want to lay one on me? Fine. Then I'll have an excuse to lay one back. But I'm peaceful. I'm not going to do it. You know, I've, I've been there. I've done that. I've stood toe to toe. Over and over again with bullies in every sort of variety. Christ's sake, in the funny farm there was enough bullies. And I sorted those bastards out. 